Hey guys, normally I was just to go ahead and get my happy fourth, happy fourth. It feels so good out here. We got a little rain. Now don't get me wrong. It's been super, super hot, but um, it feels so good. So I was like, you know what? Well, let me just go ahead and vlog. So how are you spending your fourth? You know, I used to go all out for the fourth, y'all. When I tell you, I was the girl that had the, the fourth sunglasses, the fourth, fourth swimsuit with the wraparound, with the all the decor, the cutoff shorts with the stripes and the stars and all that stuff anywho um i was just thinking you know what i really had some great experiences in my fourth i've been i don't spend um you know fourth of july's at some of the most elaborate homes and the most extravagant pools and food and events um and i just thank god for that you know um i don't even really talk you know and that was even just years ago i should have had a camera um but yeah, it's really all about, you know, uh, making the most of your fourth. It's so many different things to do. Go check out YouTube for the fourth if you want to. So if you just, you know, saving money at home on a budget, you're just going to do some grilling. Um, definitely check out YouTube because there are there's so many people on YouTube that's making amazing dishes. Like um, I was watching a few videos last night and one of them, the person had like the star sheet. They basically had like hot dogs on a stick and then at the end of the stick they had these like cheese star things i can't explain it um but anywho it's so many great ideas you can do you can do a flag on a um on a cake with blueberries raspberries check it out i mean it's so many ideas you can do if you're just gonna chill stay home and, you know save money or whatever but i'm out here yeah i slept yesterday i was i just got some rest i had i was like super tired okay because i had worked some long long hours but what is your most what is your most fun fourth experience that's the question i want to ask you guys what is your most fun i really had some super fun i don't see some of the most nicest you know like um shows you know with all the different you know fireworks shows and stuff i've seen all of those i don't see um i don't know it's just so many things you could do on the fourth so many great places to go um on the fourth and i feel like i just really now i have not been out of country out i have not been out of country on the fourth that's one thing i have not done but yeah i just gotta say i'm just i'm grateful man i'm grateful there's greatness in our country y'all there's greatness in our country born and bred in one of the greatest places on the planet so anywho uh and god so this is how it's looking out here y'all know i normally show y'all a little bit of the sunshine and how it's feeling and vibing out here i know we've been talking about also i'm um, working out outside it's a great place to start another thing i know we've been talking about you know like starting your workout journey and things like that <clears throat> i'm definitely I know you, I'm not a ex workout expert or anything like that. I am a personal development and motivational speaker. That's who I am, okay? That's who I am. But personal development ties into so many things, and especially working out, right? The ability for people to be consistent, the ability for people to not to care what other people think, and to get out there. I don't care how much you weigh and start your workout journey, right? So, anywho, I was just going to say, too, the importance of stretching, even if you don't do like a major like workout, it's really good for you to just start stretching at home. Like on a daily, your body, whenever you stretch, it tells your body that you are getting ready to work out. And whether you don't do a real workout or not, get your body into stretching. Stretching, it improves mobility. Like it helps so much. Um, I know when I would go get like my chiropractic alignment, like, you know, you know, go to the chiropractor. I learned so much uh, with that, but it's just about playing sports. You know, I grew up playing sports. So I knew that you don't really do anything um, without stretching, you know? So yeah, incorporate stretching, learn how to stretch well. My main thing I would say that for, because stretching, you know, it prevents um, injuries. That's the main thing, you know, right? A lot of people, they want to learn to stretch, learn to stretch stretch well don't never try to never skip out on your stretches um and your body will get used to it it's just gonna really it's really good for your body like i said the overall goal with that is just to prevent injuries but you know we ain't gonna give y'all no whole health lesson today not on not on the fourth okay 
Cause y'all. Where is the wisdom on the four? This is what I want to tell you guys. Your biggest adversity used that thing to win. Your biggest adversity was created to be your biggest victory. I'm going to say that again. Say it loud for the people in the back, CC. <laughs> your biggest adversity was created to be your biggest victory. And I'm going to relate that to um, people ch tackling weight loss, right? That thing, because here's the thing you got to know, that thing that seemed like it's the most challenging to overcome, that's the thing you're supposed to be great in. Like, that's the thing. Once you grew, that's what I had to learn, like, in college. I had to learn that in college, y'all. 